Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It is me, the Caffeine, here with what is hopefully the last part of the House of Ashes playthrough. Yep, finally getting around to it. I can only apologise for the delays. However, it has been a busy time, so many other games to play, and just really wasn't feeling it, to be honest. So I'm in the frame of mind. I'm ready to hopefully get the rest of the squad out and see where we go from here. <sighs> Alrighty, so jumping back in to the playthrough, I believe we had uh, Salim and was it Jason down in the very, very eerie and foreboding nest of the vampires. Okay, so this is where we left off in the last video with Jason heading down into the unknown structure. We're looking for clues and maybe an exit or at least some kind of end to the hellish journey that they've gone through we're down here with salim we've got our crowbars we've got our guns fucked up shit in my life nothing comes close to this and some fucked up shit they don't seem to be following do you like to wait for them or don't need to be a smart ass move yeah let's get straight into it okay so key for torch We've got something to examine over here. Right. There's that fine. Yeah, Fines Ledger 3, Van Hoyten. Nothing on the back. Van Hoyten? Van Hoyten? I hope I got it right. 29th of November. Many finds in the temple confirm our hypothesis that the temple was used for sacrifice. We know that a century long drought afflicted the Akkadian Empire, the same dry spell that affected the Old Kingdom in Egypt. The drought caused the abandonment of many cities across Mesopotamia and drew the Gutian barbarian tribes down from the mountains to the plains, bringing them into conflict with the Akkadians. In this temple, we see evidence of an increasingly desperate attempt to turn the tide by appeals to the gods. Related finds are six black onyx, which were symbolic of negative energy and of calamity, perhaps due to the belief that evil Uduk demons inhabited the earth, and a hold stone, Mesopotamium uh, 3. The stone shows figures praying towards an eclipse, combined with R6, the piece that portrays an eclipse that presages a disaster. Next page. Secret found. A ritual tablet. Uh, this clay tablet displays a scene of religious ritual. The bull headdress worn by the priest indicates the human sacrifice of acolytes, probably to read the future in their entrails. This suggests that the killings went beyond just Gutian captives. And then R73 is a battle tablet. Clay tablet depicting a battle scene. The headpieces of the Akkadian warriors suggest that this was a battle between Akkadians and Kupians. Nothing on the next page. All right, we've got the secret in there. Let's dig deeper into the... Whatever the hell. Oh, something to examine over here. What we got? Looks like what is that? cocoon. Cocoon? It looks like those things came from here. Looks like formaldehyde. I wonder if you can come to sign it. They don't teach you American science. Uh, don't like the sound of that. There's more cocoons here. Is this a little? Nope. This place is creepy as fuck. Oh, something on the ground over here. Another book. Uh, Randolph Hodgson. Randolph Hodgson. Maybe he's got some intel that could help. Oh. Uh. Huh. <laughs> Absolutely no help whatsoever, then it would seem there. Thank you, Randolph, or whoever destroyed his records. That's very... No, I didn't want to pick it up again. There we go. And, oh, corpse over here. Two shinies. Is there anything... No, it doesn't look like there's 
anything there, or if there is, I'm missing it. Take another quick look. Nope! Can't see anything. Let's see what this one was over here. There's loads of shit. And a little pocket watch. Mary Hudson. She's got to be his wife. Life story didn't end so well. Yeah. No, it didn't. Because Mary Hodgson was used as a sacrifice. Or, I can't remember. Uh, when this temple falls, my wife and I will be unintelligible. I owe her that, at least. The portrait that I carry in my watch case is the Mary that I remember. Not that. This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. Bradshaw. She knew all along <clears throat> what was down here. She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find, an iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal, impaling her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below. As if answering the sudden release of blood. Well, there we go. At least we know that Randolph was able to release Mary from the torment that she must have been in. And all at the expense of the human lives has Lady Bradshaw caused. Well, abominations. Really. Beasts that, if allowed to escape, would probably destroy humanity. We're going to die. If this isn't a boss battle area, I don't know what is. to the left. Jesus Christ, this is huge. That means there's a lot of cocoons, which means there's going to be a lot of vampires. Mate. judged God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made Zane is all I have left in this world after my wife left us I gave him my all I wanted him to have everything I didn't single parent tough fucking gig it is but my boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. If only he would stop Steve. <laughs> I miss him so much. Yeah. Not so inhuman now, are they, Jason? Is your conscience clear, Jason? Reluctant. Green zone. Checkpoint. What checkpoint? Nick and I, we were caught in traffic. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. There was a woman. She was carrying a bag. I 
I ordered for her to stop, loud and clear, but she didn't. She just kept on walking. I, uh, had to make a call. Nick, he shot her dead. What was in the bag? Groceries. I don't understand. Why didn't she stop? She didn't hear me. She had fucking headphones on. This. This bullshit. I'm not here to honor the dead. Truth is, my life was going nowhere fast. I jumped at the chance to sign up. We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. <laughs> profound, huh? No towers were hit. Now it's stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it till a week later. How's that for profound? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. You're serving your country. That woman had a family, friends. She had her whole life in front of her. And we snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, what the fuck? I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. What did you have in mind? We go inside there, and we find a way to hurt them. Those fucking things tried to fuck with our heads. They tried to kill us. But you and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. We're gonna get out of here see the sun again. Is that what you truly believe? Hoorah! Hmm. What on earth is that sound? It's a marine thing. Oh. So, does that make me a marine too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, huh? Okay. Hey. Whatever happens out there, I've got your back. We'll stand together. It's the only way. <clears throat> That is what we like to see camaraderie in the face of adversity. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. I'll never do it again. No promises. As I thought, we're jumping down on the path on the right that we could see there with the steps. Um, I'm not entirely happy with the recording at the moment, so please bear with me. Two seconds... As soon as get out of the cutscene, I'm going to adjust some settings if I have time because this looks like a very treacherous place to be. What is this? Alarm system. spores we think they've just breathed them in oh here we go will it won't it Okay, explore the unknown, find a way to strike back, and search the area. We're going to do that in just a second. Okay.
That's looking a little bit better. Okay. So I've locked the frame rate to 30. Hopefully that's going to make things a little easier on the recording there. Alright, so there's something shiny there. I uh, I probably didn't want to come this way just yet, did I? Slate over here. What do you make of it? This place could have been down here for thousands of years. God didn't make these creatures. No. Hmm. It's possible we've got this wrong way around. Left some claws there. Lane, check this out. <laughs> Sounds like music. I don't sound like any music from where I'm from. Oh, not the music. But that the, uh, the language. Gonna be used to some of them? I don't know. Not exactly the chatty type. Um, we'll have to find out soon. Underestimate them. This place. Okay, we got way down there. Anything around this way? Can't see anything. Uh, what's down the end here? Isn't there? Is this? Yeah, that's the way we came from, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. No, we will cover each other's backs, so then let's head on further into the cavern. Torch oh, is really not doing all that much. Stay away from green stuff. I think that is not going to be beneficial to our health. Oh... What is that? What? Slate. Check this out. One of those creatures. Only older. Ancient. You don't think it's alive, do you? Don't. Touch it. <clears throat> you touch it. Pussy. Don't touch it. God. Really not rendered in, is it? Not going to touch it. I'm not an idiot. Although, maybe that's what they wanted you to think. Oh, should I go back and touch it? Too late. I've made my decision. Got another corpse over here. Who's this guy? Ooh, Egyptian. It was his face from the beginning. Holy shit! Look at him. Check out that armor. This guy's goddamn biblical. See that? I think it's still alive. Oh, that's impossible. With this place, everything's possible. Oh shit! The fucker's been alive all this time. He's sitting here with that head. Fluid. Oh mate. He must have preserved his flesh. It's his brain. What should we do? We can't leave him like this. Well, shit. He's had enough time to get used to it. Huh? I'm serious. Oh, 
Them. Fair play, Salim. Finally letting him rest. Will. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to remember his name without looking it up. Uh, <laughs> I do know that I had I, where I messed up. I do remember, like I say, in the first video where I messed up. Shit. Ah, oh, that one's unavoidable. off to the left there maybe no right okay we've got anything down this way no let's check out anything no okay let's go the only way that we can then looking at all of this stuff knocking around it's giving me very sort of a Alien HR Geiger vibes. Oh, I'm going to walk around that one. Climb up onto the next ledge. So I'm wondering if that means that the vamps or the disease or whatever it is that's caused it is actually an alien race. Or is this just some giant movie set and we're all being pranked? So we got more of these contraptions, which they look like really futuristic VR super hover bikes. I don't know, man. Are they control mechanisms for something like a gate or powering the device that's really ominously just hanging in the center of the giant fucking pit? that I can't see the bottom of. Sleep. Looks like someone's been avoiding the dentist. No thanks. Can you see? The bone is ruptured where they should be, as though smashed from the inside out. What are you saying? Maybe these things weren't originally vampires. Okay. Right, I cut out all the travel time there because, yeah, getting from there to here took a lot longer than it should have done. A little bit more explanations coming in. Um, I didn't mean to go down here yet. This doesn't look good. Oh uh, boy. The fuck. You're thinking cocoons? Yeah. And I am thinking what you're thinking. Oh. Okay. Okay. Another little reminder there. So. I'm not moving. I'm not touching anything apart from... Okay, let's do that a little bit. Right, there's stuff right there. Let's not move forward just a little bit. So I'm thinking... We saw how the Acadian fellow was preserved... When he was encased in that resin correct and these all appear to be 
statues with alarm bells around them. So I am wondering if we were to step on one of these, all of these fuckers are going to come alive and try to eat us. So we really don't want to step on any of the branches. Right, uh, right two paths. Uh, mm, is it really? Possibly. Oh. Close. Right. Ooh. Oh. These statues creaking. Is that them creaking or is that me? Oh. Oh, tense right now. Right. Do you ever go to the fairs and try those games that they used to have where you had to get the thing along the wire? Uh, and if you didn't, it would go meh, meh. I absolutely love those. We made it through. And look where you're going, Jason. Seriously, the fuck is this place? I'm just wondering if I missed out on any secrets. Got wait up. There's some shinies over here. Oop, more. Strange alien skulls. Secret fell. They died fighting each other. Fossilized life forms. Like dogs fighting over food. Don't make sense. I thought these things were a pack. Trained, disciplined. Why would they fight each other? Every living thing on Earth finds a reason to fight its own. Hmm. On Earth. Not sure these things are from Earth. Well, they at least became like the natives, I suppose. Uh, all right. Uh, head back on out. Past another living statue. Okay. In, it's putting me in mind of the uh, like the one of the best Doctor Who episodes of all time. What? I didn't. I didn't do anything. Was that just scripted to happen? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Nice, 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 nice. Right, come on. Aiming at the heart. Aiming at the heart. Nick with the grenades! Okay, the party's almost back together, it would seem. Right, come on. He hasn't got a torch with him. The f oh. Looks like we're horse fielded underwater. Shit, Nicky. You turned up like the fucking cavalry. I thought you were dead. Not my time. <laughs> Good to see you again, ma'am. Take my hand. <laughs> Colonel didn't make it. So we've got confirmation that we did here, man. This place. unfortunately lose the colonel.
Okay, so we're playing as Rachel now. Who is still infected, I think? What is this place? I mean, it... We need a plan. Fuck those things up and get the fuck out. Good plan. Sergeant K, what do we got left? So we got um eight clips of 556 FMJ, three 40 mil high X rounds, a couple of nine mil pistols, four clips between them. We'll make that work. And one block of composition C4. All in is not enough. We've also got this. Ah, it's old. Unpredictable. We work with what we got. Now, our fuses are shot, but we can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope they still pack a punch. The vampires come from those cocoons. You saw how many there were in that vault? There could be thousands in there. So we blow them up, burn as many of those motherfuckers as we can, and head for the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Ooh, bro. I'm not gonna allow him to carry a pistol. We are way past that point now, man. We stand together as one. You still got that med kit. Now'd be a good time to use it. Yeah, patch up the wounds there, Nick. Looks like a bitch. I gotta stop the bleed. Okay, like airing updated. Here too. We should search this place before we move out. That is a very good idea. Come on, what we got? What we got? Alright, uh, search the chamber, talk with your allies. Okay. Nothing there. Shiny over here. Retention of Pullman. New equipment request. Big hacks 12. Rope minimum 1,000 feet. Plywood box. Da, 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 da. Art clamps, crowbars, gas masks. I didn't look at the back of it. I didn't look at the back of it. To whoever finds this, forgive me. For him. I have sabotaged the dynamite. Really all about these tablets. I have sabotaged the dynamite to prevent my colleagues from sealing this temple to the world. Lady Bradshaw was right to bring me here. These creatures are a key to limitless power. There are secrets here that could allow humanity to reach across the stars, perhaps even achieve immortality itself. Please safeguard this ruin and do not think badly, badly of me for what I have done. I serve only the future. Alice Van Hoyen. Okay. So, you need to go and let Nick know. But I wouldn't give to see daylight again. Daylight but the dynamite... Won't work. Rachel. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. Eric was a good man. He was. Over here. Okay. I found something. So we're not gonna examine the pedestal just yet, Salim. Sorry. Alright, here we go. Hunts victim, implants parasite, parasite gestates, host death, parasite takes over. Okay, so we are getting... It is an alien organism. It's a symbiote. It's a symbiote. It's venom. We're venom. We're not venom. I want the shiny, though. Ah, we've got a premonition. Is that a little glimpse of the next game? Ooh. Exciting. Ah, these must be the notes for the music uh, we found. As I discover more about the musical language of these creatures, my mind spins in wonder at how they came to be here. They saw through the skies in the days of dinosaurs, and did their great empire span the globe while we were still swinging from the trees? They are dead now. 
Their forms are somewhat like our own, but everything else about them is alien to life as we know it. The console displays what appears to be a constellation of stars. Thetis is seen from Earth. Did they come here from beyond, crossing, crossing great gulfs of space to land here? Were they trying to get home? Ooh. Apologies for the... How confident are you that they'll work? Stuttering there. But how are you holding up? Not great, truth be told. I should have said it sooner, but um, I'm sorry about Eric's death. Thank you. It means a lot. Rachel, I just want your hand. It's nothing. I'm just cold. Hmm. Something's going on. Maybe it's the parasite growing. What we got here? They are coming. We must end it here with... If there is time, my last act will be to dictate this diary unto what is found in the rubble. It can serve as a warning to any who... The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, for all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. And thus, we learn of the fate of Randolph Hodgson. None of them made it out alive. Now we're going to buck that trend because we've got science on our side. Uh, okay, pedestal. This must be the constellation that he was mentioning in the notes represented the stars do you see it's Cetus the whale we're a long way from the night sky it's a mystery according to the journal there was only one scale of sound in the device but Mary was studying it alone I think there may be another I'm going to need your help what can I do this console is too big to operate single-handedly Okay. go got it in the end I think I hope isn't that something we've just woken everything up haven't we
When the tragedy fell upon them, their great empire collapsed. Their music fell silent, and they turned on each other. What happened? Sickness? Madness? What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. No one left to kill. So they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. Yes, Burster. Rachel. Rachel, look at me. She has it. It's inside her. It's speaking to us. Yeah, here we go. All right, so it was an alien object that crash landed on Earth. Likely the meteor that took out the dinosaurs. It came from the stars. This isn't their home. It's an ark. Do something stirring into one of them. Need to get the parasite out. Misery. Hold her the fuck down. There's got to be a way we can't lose her. There's no other way. Hold her down. Remember what happened to your friend Clarice. It won't be pleasant if Rachel turns too. Uh, yeah. He's gonna go commanding. Kill me. I'm trying. Fuck Rachel. I have to put you down. Hence. What are you waiting for? Be done. Stand up, Sergeant K. Those things aren't dumb. They'll have heard the gunshot. You need to move the fuck out. I thought I was going to get a third chance at that. Double tap. Right. I somehow have a feeling that I'm going to get some information very soon that's going to tell me I could have saved Rachel. Look at this. Neat. <laughs> I'm seeing those mounds are made of cocoons thousands of them if we set the charges there they won't burn Gotta move quick. Okay, yeah, so I think I've screwed okay, myself. Listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. Rachel's gone. So's the colonel. But 
Now, it's time to get some payback. We plant charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. Luck is on our side. We'll do more than fry a few vampires. We'll create a diversion. Selene, you ready? I am. Okay, then. Let's get loose, kid. Okay. Who's going to place the dynamite? Alright, fuck it. I'll do it. You're crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. It takes a detonator. If I don't make it... Nick! Hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep them radio contact. And if there's no radio signal, then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up, you hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. You hear me, buddy? Oh, uh, I've got a really bad feeling that I've screwed myself. Like I was saying, by uh, me uh, taking Rachel out of her misery. Hit the gunshot, which means that planting is going to be a much more difficult. I can't make it out. What is that? There, there's one ahead of him. There's left. Nick, the cocoons are hatching ahead of you. You gotta move fast. Okay, so dynamic shift. I'm in charge of Nick now. First dynamite is down. Over. Okay, so I was thinking about it as well. When they said that the dynamite was sabotaged, I think they meant the fuses. Because one of them mentioned. Which way? Left or right? Damn it. Oh no. Nick, there's someone behind you. Uh, but to be fair, they're all around you at the moment, mate, but... Get that C4 on. He's still there. I don't know if you guys could see him, but he was skittering around in the shadows in the background just there. Holy shit. It's getting kind of hairy down there, brother. Why don't you ditch the rest of those charges and head back? Look at that, man. It's the mud road. It's too... We're going for it. I'm going for it. Alright, I'm going to have to be on my A game for this. So I want to get all three of these guys out. Sorry, Nikki. For this? For what happened at that checkpoint? It's a war, Jason. Bad shit happens. Can't help. Oh, 
lucky boy. No, shit. Well, fuck. I thought it was one of the have to click. Uh, I just clicked as soon as it came up on the screen. At least he's being put to rest as well, I suppose. I, I am. Fuming with myself. to get out okay wrong with Jason gates aren't closed rest in peace Nicky. very camaraderie <laughs> okay, so we're back in with Salim now. On our way back up. We can make it. That's one of the like the difficult sides of what is it? Yeah. Of course, just hand over hand. Do it, come on. And bye bye, Clarice. Come on, Salim. Get yourself up. Oh, we're not out yet, are we? creatures that can fly I foresee this being a rather interesting sequence oh no where out it would seem in the hand of God 
throwing a rope, praying for salvation. Target LZ, 552. Depth zero feet. He's out. Well, boys. You made it. We're alive. We're fucking alive. This is Bailman 21 Actual to Coyote 2. Radio check over. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. We fucking did it! Look. Look around you. It's so quiet. <sighs> you think those shepherds are still around here? I could use a cold one. I must return home to my boy. He must be worried about me. Ho oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Not again. Fucking hell, just when we thought we were done. Back on the radio. Get back on the radio. Tell them to send artillery. How much time do we have? You tell me. I don't know shit about space. Contact. Is this eclipse gonna love Clips finish now. They burn the motherfuckers. Come on. Over to Jason. Just got that one. I almost clicked on that. Oh. Oh. Just got that one. Fucking hell. Uh, Cauterized the wound. Strip the flesh. 
It's so hard to win. Nice move, Slim. Okay, that was a little bit odd. Sunlight. Sunlight's going to save him. There it is. Huts on fire. Could you imagine how much easier that fight would have been if there was five of them? That's if it even came to that. I need to see my boy. Hmm? I don't blame you, Salim. I really don't, mate. A souvenir. Salim, wait. Good luck, brother. You wish Zane a happy birthday from me. Thank you, Jason. Goodbye, my friend. A beautiful, touching tribute to camaraderie at the end there. Salim, one of the two surviving members of the party that went into the temple, walks off into sunrise, sunset, sunrise, as we finish the game with, unfortunately, only two survivors. Oh, into the sunset. I've just been advised by the achievement. It was a sunset, not a sunrise. I don't know if the sky was that low. sun was that low, surely the sky would have been a little bit... Oh, I don't know. This smell meant you were an actual... We have eyes on and a clear breeze. Fairly chuffed that finally put the journey to rest. <laughs> really, they stood who stood and fell who fell. Not bad. You've guided some of your charges to the light, while others have fallen to the dark. 
Survival often comes at a great cost, a cost that others sometimes must pay. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. First Lieutenant Kolchek was a revelation, was he not? He finally made peace with the demons he'd been carrying with him and forged the unlikeliest of friendships. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time, somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out. Well, thank you, curator, for guiding us on this outstanding journey. Uh, the, the twist at the end with it being an alien life form, really, really good. Really like that. Uh, overall, it's an absolute pleasure to play. Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. You cram me in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? The ISG team took heavy losses, but it wasn't a complete disaster. We just had to scrape some of them off the floor. Poor bastards. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. They found first lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? Or so they advertise. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular. Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You weren't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds. I don't give a damn who it was. We needed all the help we could get. And Sergeant K? Nikki didn't make it. So they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican Guard, if you can believe it. I'm dying to meet this guy. Nothing to show. He walked. The hell's that mean? By the time the extraction team got here, he was gone. Could be across the border by now. Nikki, son of a bitch. Now I see why Kolchak enlisted his help. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They use dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. Ah, uh, shame. This testimony could have been valuable. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Those two were married, right? In the loosest sense of the word. That's quite the love bite. It's a damn shame is what it is. The Colonel had a lot more to answer for. This comes down to Kalis. It mistook the temple for Saddam's weapon depot. Piece of shit system. I wouldn't say that. It's been a big find for us. We've been lucky. This is your definition of lucky? Hmm. She was infected. Our comrades had no choice but to... Parasite? Extracted. You read her profile. Yeah. Could have gone far. If this hadn't happened. All right, all right, all right. Rub it in, why don't you? Are you still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. 
a small blessing. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. And that the truth. Well. Thank you everybody. Ever so much for sticking around. I hope you have enjoyed the playthrough. I am going to drop my camera off now and leave you guys with the credits and this banging outro theme. Leave a like, leave a comment if you feel like you, you've got something you want to say. <laughs> Let me know. Um, actually, yeah, that's the point. Let me know if you want to see a, you know, we, we, we do some um, perfectionist runs on it, see if I can get all of the survivors through. For now, though, I'm going to leave you and head on off. Maybe. Sorry, I just wanted to listen to that bit. Yeah, I'm going to head off. And, um, oh yeah, new streaming platform as well. I will leave a link in the comments below. So stay safe, everybody. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye! You want to know what it means to be a killer? Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist. I've left my mark on the world. Have you?